Lake Tanganyika is an ecological jewel of East Africa. The deepest and longest freshwater lake in the continent has long been the site of recreation, the source of freshwater supply, and an economic lifeline for fishing communities in Burundi. However, this jewel is slowly losing its shine, and experts are alarmed. The situation of Lake Tanganyika is deplorable at the moment because it is a lake threatened by various forms of pollution. There is liquid pollution, the dumping of household waste, toilet waste and also the industries that dump their waste into the lake, waste oil and engine oil that flow into Lake Tanganyika. The lake's turbidity level is now over 25 according to experts, while its historical range has been under 15 units. That's a measure of sediments suspended in the water, including particles of organic and inorganic matter, but also pollutants. The consequences are being felt by fishermen. Compared to previous years, when I was introduced to this profession, what I see today is that fish catches have greatly diminished. This is thought to be caused by waste from the mountains above the city of Bujumbura flowing into the lake and threatening the fish. Experts say this is a result of unintended consequences of human activities. Another very important phenomenon is erosion. In the foothills, hills and mountains of looking Lake Tanganyika, we are witnessing heavy deforestation and degradation, and this is a serious problem, and we need to act quickly to protect them. NGOs and the Burundian government are working to clean up the environment, but enforcement challenges persist. The first challenge to our efforts is the population. We also have laws on water, but no implementing regulations. At this level, the population uses the lakes abusively as it wishes to grow crops on the banks. There are those who use it as a toilet and others who throw plastic bags in it without worry. Experts call for urgent action to address the growing pollution of Lake Tanganyika and prioritize its protection so that it can benefit its surrounding population for years to come. Crystal Onkel, CGTN.